What is air? What is air? Do you know what air is? Can you feel the air around you? Is air heavy or light? How do we prove that air exists? Let us find the answers to all these questions. The earth is blanketed by a thick layer called air. This layer is called the earth's atmosphere. Properties of air Air has three main properties. Air occupies space, air has weight and air exerts pressure. Air occupies space Since air can occupy space, it is used to fill balloons, mattresses, footballs, basketballs and tires of bicycles and cars. The air filled in footballs and basketballs helps the balls bounce. The air filled in rubber tires protects us from bumps on the road. Air has weight. Is there any way to weigh air? Can we put air on a weighing machine to see how much it weighs? No, but we can conduct an experiment to see if air has weight. Take a stiff stick and tie a string in the middle of the stick. Blow up two balloons and hang them on either side of the stick, making sure that the stick is balanced on both sides. Then. Make a hole in one balloon. What do you see? The air slowly flows out of the balloon and the side with the blown up balloon starts to tilt lower and shows that air has weight. In the above diagram, we can see that once the air is blown out of the yellow balloon, the green balloon tilts lower as it is heavier. Air exerts pressure. Since air has weight, it exerts a pressure of 1 kg per square centimeter. We can prove this by conducting an experiment. Take a wide mouth bottle and fill it with water. Take a cord and float it in the water. Then take a glass tube and try covering one end of the tube with your palm. Push the end over the cord and see what happens. You will notice that the air exerts pressure on your palm and the water level in the glass tube will be lower than the bottle. Now remove your palm. What do you see? The water level in the tube and bottle becomes the same. This proves that air exerts pressure. Where do we use air pressure? In a medicine dropper. How do we use a medicine dropper? We use a small glass tube which has a rubber bulb at one end. To fill the medicine in the dropper, we press and hold the rubber bulb and release it in the medicine so that the medicine is sucked into the tube. A fountain pen We use a fountain pen in the same manner. The air pressure pushes the ink into the pen. Injections The next time you go to the doctor for an injection, try to pay attention to how a syringe works. The doctor pulls the handle out 
which allows air pressure to push the medicine into the syringe. Straws What happens when you drink through a straw? How does the liquid come into your mouth so quickly? This is because of air pressure. When you suck on a straw, air pushes the liquid into the empty space in the straw and you can drink it easily. Fountains Air pressure can also be used to make fountains. Let's see how. Fit a stopper into a bottle of water. Make two holes in the stopper and put two glass tubes in them. One should be straight and put in the water and the other should be bent and outside the water. Blow into the bent tube. What happens? Suddenly a fountain of water will emerge out of the straight tube. This is because when you blow into the tube, the air pushes the water up through the tube in the form of a fountain. Water Pumps We use water pumps to draw water out of wells. How do they work? When the piston is raised, the low air pressure in the pump forces the valve open and the water rushes into the pump. Air pressure pushes water out of a siphon. A siphon is a bent tube of unequal length through which water is pulled upwards and pushed downwards to a lower level. Set up the apparatus as shown in the diagram. Suck in water from the longer tube and hold it in position as the water starts to flow. You will notice that the water will continue to flow till the level in both the beakers is the same. Even tube and water organisms follow this method of taking in and squirting out liquids. Let us do a quick recap. The air around us is called the Earth's atmosphere. Air has weight and occupies space. Air is used to inflate things like balloons, footballs, tires, etc. Since air has weight, it exerts a pressure of 1 kg per square centimetre. Air pressure forces liquid up a straw, a syringe or a fountain pen.